All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise and honor glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Haraka, Korash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. Another walk and talk to the spirit. And as, um, you know, on my walk, I'm listening to Elder Yashawamba going into uh, Jeremiah 50 and 51. It's not speaking of ancient Babylon. It's prophecy of America, Babylon the Great, Mystery Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. All right? And this place is called various different names and titles. All right? But um, I just want to jump to uh, uh, verse 13, right? As it's read, let's read it in, uh, I believe he has it in NLT. It says, because of Yahweh's anger, Babylon will become a deserted wasteland and all who pass by will be horrified and will gasp at the destruction they see there. Right now, this also lines up with what Isaiah 34 as it's speaking of how this place will not be inhabited anymore, but only by desert like creatures. As it's mentioned, the cormorant, the bittern, the screech owl. Right. You go to the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter as well. And other various scriptures, you know, that's speaking about the destruction of this place and how the nations are going to look on thee, right? Uh, meaning this place. And, you know, they show, uh, they show, um, oh, what's the, uh, um, what the scriptures say? They show, uh, basically mourn, you know, the merchants of the earth show mourn. All right. Now, this place not only will be destroyed, but it needs to be destroyed. Okay, because this place, especially for the Israelite, right? For the Israelites, starting with the man, this place is hell for us, you know? But I'm not going to uh, leave out the woman and the children of our nation because E has done so much damage to our people where we are not only physically, but mentally and spiritually effed up as a people literally right and there's no future with this place and if you if you think if you think right or if you have the hopes you know to having a future here you ain't right man right you ain't right and you ain't think you you don't got your head your head ain't on straight all right because why would you want a a future in a place that 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 is set up that is designed to purposely destroy you you know why would you want a future here you see and as we in the know right let's get a, let's get a scripture i don't want to try to i don't want to try to ramble off as much i want to try to get as many scriptures as that comes to my mind as i speak these things Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes. Let's go to, let's start at, let's start at uh, chapter 7, verse 7. It says, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Right? So, like I say, us and this, this faith and this truth, we know that we are oppressed, right? As the scripture, as it stated that we would be in the book of Deuteronomy, right? As the curses that will befall us, that we will be oppressed and crushed all way, right? So we understand that we are a downtrodden and oppressed people, right? And the people that's above us as they are the head and we are the tail, Going into who? Who's being the head? Esau Edom, the so called white man. And the tail is who? You Israelites, you so called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? We are the tail. We are on the bottom, right? But see, we have, we understand that we are, we are oppressed, you know? So it says, what? It maketh a wise man mad, 
Okay, so this is why you see us. You know, um, we are. We have. You know, we are. We are more in the in, in the spirit of, of you know, wanting to get the hell up out of here. You know, um, we have a, a a morning. You know, and it's all everything should be done in the balance, right? Is the best best as you can, but. You know, sometimes things can be overwhelming. You know, you're more angrier, you know, at times than the, the, the average person. You know, you're more fed up at uh, more times than the average person. A person that is blind to the fact of what's going on in the world today that ain't right. This whole anti-Messiah spirit, this whole uh, agenda that's being pushed, you know, on the households. Okay, especially the, the Israelite household, you know, the so-called black, Latino, and Native American household, the agenda that's being pushed on our children, you know, the P-E-D-O agenda, the G-A-Y agenda, the whole, uh, 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 the L-E-S-B-O agenda, right, the, 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 the D-E, the D-E-A-T-H C U L T U R E agenda, right? That whole hip hop, you know, R and B, rebellious, witchcraft, adulterous, sinful uh, behavior agenda that's being pushed all throughout the media outlets, right? That's that's this is all madness, right? The influence, right? That's that's coming off these different so-called leaders of our people that's causing them to err because these these different people you know everyone is looking up to are are basically uh, uh lower less witches and warlocks for esau edom right to put the spell upon the minds of our people our children you know it's a whole demonic demonic force out here you know for real you know, you can see it. Seen another example of that with uh, what's her name? Um, during the Super Bowl, Ice Spice, the 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 the, the uh, the shorty doo-wop, you know, throwing up uh, you know, devil horn uh, uh signs, you know, with the upside down cross. Yeah, this 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 type of madness, satanic madness, is being uh, uh uplifted and pushed by our own people. You know, and each set it up that way. Okay, because he knew damn well nobody wasn't gonna uh, follow his uh, uh his his unsavory uh, uh dry plain bullshit he would do. So he have our people do it because he knew how he know we know how to do it the best, right? The scriptures say uh, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the what? But the way of the wicked seduces them. You see, our people have been seduced. The way of the wicked, Esau, Edom is the wicked. We were the righteous. You know, we were supposed to be. You see, by default, we are those those righteous, those those, those holy people by default. You know, but the way of the wicked have seduced our people. You know, because Esau has that what that seducing spirit. Now, uh. Let's go to this. Salakin. I said I was going to bring out a whole bunch of scriptures, but here I go. <sighs> Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 18. It says, For much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases of knowledge increases sorrow. So that's why I mentioned earlier, you know, speaking of how, you know, we're in more of an, a, we're more of in a, a angrier, a, a, a mourning, a, a vexed spirit than the average person walking around us. Okay, because we know exactly what the hell is going on. We know exactly how things should be. We know the standard. You know, we know the standard is being put on the back burner. You know, being crossed out. The scriptures literally say that the ways of the Lord will be X'd out in this place. You see, Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. Let's get, let's get that real fast because that's going to line up with basically what we're talking about as well. The book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 8, it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Where is this great city talking about? Oh, 
Mystery Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. Right? That's what this place, that's what it's talking about. The, 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 uh, the great city. It's another name for this place, which is spiritually. This is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. You see the behavior that's going on here. You see the oppression. You see the bondage unto the Israelites. Because that's how this place was uh, 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 built to be on its high horse now. By the way, the Israelites, the same as ancient Egypt. And when it's talking about the dead bodies, it's not talking about Jake being actually dead, but it's talking about Jake being spiritually dead. Right? The scriptures say, he that wandereth uh, out of the, ah, uh, oh, what is this? He that wandereth, sh snap, um, what is that? Uh, I know that's an, um, um, of the dead. Some uh, some proverbs. Uh, yep. Proverbs chapter twenty one verse sixteen. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. That's the, see, that's what our people have done. They wandereth out of the way of understanding. They wandereth from the Bible. They wandereth from the true standard. So our people are now in what? They're in utter rebellion. You see, so what are they? Where are they at? What are they? Where are they? Where are they remaining? In the congregation of the dead. These are these these dead bodies wandering around the streets, right? In this great city, right? Because Jake is literally a, a, a blind, in a lot of cases, oblivious to what the hell is actually going on around them. They don't understand this. It's the spiritual warfare that we are in. Right? They don't understand how everything has been weaponized around them. You know, he has weaponized the food. He has weaponized the water. He has weaponized the air we breathe. He has weaponized the music. He has weaponized, you know, uh, people. You know? People. You know, through his educational system, like every, he has weaponized everything around us, you see, to his advantage. You know, and when you know these things, these things piss you off, right? Now, the scriptures could say, be ye angry and sin not. So we can be we can be mad about these things. You see, we just can't act upon it because we know what vengeance is of the Lord. So that's what we wait and waiting upon. You know, to ex execute, you know, the anger, you know, upon the earth, upon these, these devils, these heathen, you know, who have been made to rule, who have been made to uh, further destroy the earth and destroy the minds of the people. Right. But his time is his time is due. His time is due. You know. So we just, um, you know, through the spirit, when different things come to our mind, we, we speak on these things, you know? But, uh, hold on, it's a lot here. And really, this is almost, you know, a, a rant. This is a rant through the spirit, you know, because I'm watching, as I'm watching uh, Elder Yashawama's video, you know, you really have people that will believe that, you know, Jeremiah 50 and 51, you know, is, is not talking about uh, America, Babylon, the Great. And other than that, you know, they're trying to push this narrative of, you know, we're going to continue to be here. And this is not, because if, 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 if Babylon the Great ain't Mystery Babylon, right, then where is Mystery Babylon? You know? Because literally this lines up with end time prophecy, of that same place as all the nations coming against it, that place being uh, utterly destroyed by thermonuclear fire, right? As the nations will be sitting round about at this place. If it's not America, Bell and the Great, where is it? Where is that place? You know, where is that place at? You know, I mean, do we have to go into a whole nother captivity? Because it talks about the children of uh, 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 Judah and Israel being oppressed together at that same exact place. So if this is not the place, Right? Then where is that place? 
we got to go through a whole nother captivity till we get to that exact place when we're oppressed together. You feel them? You know what I'm saying? So we need to under, we need to know if y'all saying it ain't here, America, then where is this place? And then we got to go through a whole nother captivity, man. Hell no. Let's talk about here. Okay. In the same place that's going to be destroyed, the elect of Israel is going to be delivered from that same exact place. Right now, continuing on about the madness that's going on in this place, the madness that's being pushed in this place upon who? Upon the Israelites. You know, it's a lot of in the Psalms. Get this scripture, Book of Micah. Micah chapter 2 verse 10 it says Arise ye and depart For this is not your rest This is not talking about leaving Babylon the great But this is talking about having that mindset spiritually You know departing from this place Leaving off from this place Because this is not our rest For here we have a What is that Hebrews chapter 13 verse 14 For here we have a For here we have no continuous city But we seek one to come So this is not our home This is not our rest We have no future here